Well, good. Wonderful. Beautiful. Morning, audience. Hey, girls. Oh, my goodness. So, it's morning, and uh, I don't know if you can see out the front window or hear it. Well, the motorhome's running, but uh, it's raining where we are in Memphis, Indiana. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I just got up, walked all three dogs real quick, thankfully, because uh, it started raining really hard. They haven't had breakfast yet, but Memphis has to get her medicine and then she has to wait an hour before she can eat. So we think we're just gonna get on the road for like an hour, hopefully drive a little bit. Maybe the rain will slow down so we can take them out for walks again. But they seem pretty content. So I gotta fill up your water again. She's like, hey, can you fill my water again? So yeah, that's where we're at. Jamie's hooking the Jeep back up. We literally, uh, let me take you outside real quick. So yeah, it's raining. We stayed at the Love's truck stop last night. This is where we ended up staying. I'm getting back in, it's raining. Jamie's back there hooking up the deep. All right, we're on the road again. Oh, check out this bridge, you guys. We are crossing the Ohio River and entering Kentucky. Wow, look at that bridge. Yeah, it's the toll bridge. Oh, that is the toll bridge. We didn't take the toll bridge. They said there was a bunch of stuff closed. Whoa, this is cool. <laughs> There's the Ohio River, and there is downtown Louisville, Kentucky, and the KFC Yum Center. Mm -hmm, yum. I doing, girls? They're like, we're ready to go back to bed. <laughs> Here's freaking out. Are you freaking out? Are you eating the pillows? Are you? <laughs> Eleanor, you're not helping. Oh, you're not helping. Maybe you are. Are you? Are you Kira's emotional support harness dog? He's like, yeah, yeah, he's trying to make her feel better. He's like, yeah, what are you doing? Just waiting? All right, so we found a rest stop where it's not raining. So we're going to take the dogs out for a good little walk. Since they didn't really get one this morning, so they got harnesses on. We're going to take that off. I'm pretty sure she's about done with that, too. So Ow. she's like, Dad, hurry, mm. hurry. Uh, okay. Okay, let's go. Time to get some water. So we walked them around a bit. It's a little uh, hot and muggy out there, huh? Yeah, it's not too bad. Go ahead, get your water. You're fine. We'll get back on the road in just a minute. We're almost to our campground about an hour and a half away. So not too much further. All right, Memphis, as we were leaving this place, dad saw something. So just you and me are getting out, okay? You girls stay in here and hang out with dad. So this will probably be the closest she'll ever come in her entire life to one of these. And I don't even know if she sees them, but she always gets so excited when we're driving and she sees them. Come on, Memphis, they're over here. Come on, girl. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Look, Memphis. Hi, friends. What is that? What is that? That's a cow. You see him? She's like, I don't even know what to do. Look at her. She's like, wait, I see them from the car all the time. You see him? What do you think of that, huh? Hi, cows. That cow's like, forget it. I want nothing to do with you. Memphis is like, maybe, maybe one of them will be my friend. Maybe, maybe one, maybe that one will be my friend. I don't think any of them want to be your friend. Even though you'd be the friendliest cow friendly dog ever. I think this is the closest Memphis ever going to get to see cows. <laughs> is that the closest you ever been? All right, you saw some Kentucky cows. Come on. We don't want to bug them too much. She's so happy. <laughs> Are you so happy? It's like, I saw cows. Made my whole day. Okay, let's go get in the car. It's hot. Did you tell Dad? Yes, did. Dad, I just made friends with cows. <laughs> made my whole life. I know y'all wanted to see them as well, but they're Memphis's favorite thing, so yeah. we'll maybe, find more. Maybe we'll find more. Yeah. Okay, let's get back on the road before we all melt. So we made a pit stop. We did. We were driving by Mammoth Caves. We were. And I joked with Jamie that he could take a nap while I went inside, and he said yes. So he's gonna hang out here with the dogs. We got the generator running, we got the AC going. Yep. It's actually not too hot today. No. But uh Eleanor's mad. Yeah, the dogs will be a little mad. But yeah. that, that's alright. You'll be okay. Alright, I'm gonna go in there. I'm not gonna rush, but I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna take you guys with me. We're gonna go in the cave together. And you all are gonna hang out in the camper. Okay, love you, bye. I've, I've seen it before. But Apparently take, I have too, but I don't remember. Right, but take some good videos. You were probably oh, yeah. younger than me when you saw it. I, yeah, I don't I, remember I at think all. I was like young, but still, yeah. Okay, bye. be good, be good. And you be good back there too. All right, so it did start raining again. I'm doing the self-guided 
tour. It says I'm supposed to go this way. So we're gonna walk down here in the rain. Let's see what we can see. Oh my gosh, this hill. I gotta come back up this hill. <sighs> Maybe I changed my mind. <laughs> oh my gosh, the weather in here is 10 times better than the weather outside. That's for sure. So I gotta film a lot of this since Jamie didn't get to come with me. <laughs> oh, that means Jamie's gonna watch this vlog for sure. And don't fall at the same time. So I've been told I was here a long time ago as a child, but I do not remember that. So we're just gonna take the tour. I didn't bring the GoPro because it's dark down here. I like how they use the incandescent colored lights so it almost looks like candles. Ooh, we're getting down into the good part down here. It's all nice and lit up. It's definitely more fun when the dogs can come down into caves with us, but this is still pretty cool. Okay, so it looks like we can go this way or this way, and we're going this way because there's less people this way right now. Look at how cool this is. I'm trying to hold the camera still for you guys. You can see some of the old stuff that they found down here. I also thought this was really neat. Look, they brought paver stones down here, so you don't have to walk on that. You get to walk on paver stone. Let's look how crazy cool this is. Oh, I hear little kids crying back there. <laughs> Must be too dark for them. So hopefully you guys can read this. Just some information, pause it and read it. But these are some of the these are some of the artifacts that they have found down in this cave. And in case you don't know, this is not a man-made cave, which is what makes it even cooler. Alright, I'm gonna keep walking. Now it's back to dirt, so I gotta watch where I'm going. So this is considered Lookout Mountain. Apparently that's a collapse. And you can see here, if you open it up, you would be outside but it says they can't do that because uh, it'll change the ecosystem of the cave. You can hear the water running in from the rain. So all of the guided tours were full, so I had to do the self-guided tour, so we're not gonna get to see like a ton of the like stalactites and stalagmites and all that fun stuff you can also see here. And that's it. We're out. We're leaving. There's this cool little rain waterfall coming down right here. I hope it's not pouring rain because I gotta walk quite a ways back to the car. So, this is some of the other stuff you can see on the guided tours that you have to sign up for. Hey, that's where we went down. So I made it back. It was really nice down there, but it was really hot coming back. <laughs> like, way too hot. Still hot, eh? Did the dogs do good? Yeah. You sleep the whole time and watch people? Yeah. That's what I thought. <laughs> You're still watching people. Right. All right, we're gonna get out of here and head to the campground. Okay, so we were leaving the Mammoth Caves and we drove by Diamond Caverns and apparently I'm gonna go in here and see if I can do a quick tour. It says it's like a 20 to 30 minute tour. I'm gonna go in there and see if I can tour this one. So this apparently is where we're going now. We're out of the cave. Remember, if you come to this cave, you can't film inside. They didn't tell me that until we were all the way down there, so. It was still fun. I got lots of photos. Ooh, my camera's fogged up. Look, the RV! Gee, we made it to the campground, and what's the first thing the dogs see? Tennessee squirrel! And neighbor dog. Hi, neighbor dog. Look at you guys, we made it! So this is our spot. This is where we're at. We're in Nashville, and it's hot. Too hot for huskies, if you ask me. But, it's nice in the RV, so. It's cooled off considerably since we pulled in, and as it gets darker, it'll cool off, and then it'll get hot again. Seems to be what happens. This campground has a dog park, so the dogs can kind of stretch their legs. Yeah, we still have their leashes on. I don't like that the fence isn't tall enough, but they can at least stretch their legs a minute and check things out without... They're all just like, we just gotta sniff where all the other dogs were, that's all. Memphis is going for it. She's like, I'm going for it. I'm exploring. These two are like, no, we haven't figured this out yet. Yeah, you can stretch your legs a little, even though it's hot. So there's a little dog park over there we just took the dogs to, and they check that out a little bit. No other dogs, so we let them. I'm not used to seeing campgrounds with, like, nobody outside. And there's barely anybody outside. It's like a handful of people outside. But I'm not used to seeing campgrounds like this, but it's interesting. <sighs> All right, we're walking the dogs back to the RV. And then I have to go register for the event. And then I don't know what we're doing after that. Hoping the weather gets cooler. Come on. She's like, I don't care what it feels like. I'm having a good time. Well, that's all that matters. Tried to tell you it's warm out there. 
It is nice and cool in here though. We got the RV at a pretty comfortable 72 right now. So that makes me happy because that was my biggest concern. So I am going to go down and get registered for the Jayco Homecoming show, which is what we're pretty much here for. And uh, yeah, oh, I wanted to show you guys. Tomorrow's Jamie's birthday. I brought him a birthday cake, confetti pie. <laughs> Cause you know, what's birthday without cake? All right, he's getting the Jeep for me. I'm gonna drive down there. He's gonna hang out here with the dogs. This is the hotel, you guys. The hotel where the convention is being held at. So crazy. Okay, so I made it to the Jayco show and I get to do this little preview thing tonight. So I'm gonna walk through some of these. Oh my gosh. This is just gonna make me wanna buy a rig, I swear. But, oh wait, we already have one. But I'm gonna look anyway, so we're gonna peek at a few of these and I'm excited, this is kinda fun. So I get to get the pre-preview before the event even starts. I'm here, I made it, and we're here previewing some of the rigs. Oh my gosh, you guys, do I wanna look at a trailer or do I wanna just rush over to the, to the RVs and see what the new RVs look like? Oh, these are so, we're going in this one. This one's cute. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. This is so it reminds me of our trailer, only look, it's got a little bunkhouse in it. Oh, how fun. Oh my gosh, okay, let's wander. You ever wondered what a toy hauler fifth wheel looks like? Let's go inside of this one. Ooh, look at that, these are so big. So if you've never been in one of these, when you walk to the front, there's usually a big bedroom up here. Big pantry, big bedroom, holy bathroom. <laughs> nice kitchen. And check it out, you come down here, and this is a toy hauler. You can haul your four-wheelers in here. All right, I see what I'm looking for. We're gonna go over here and look at some of these, compare them to the one we have, I think. So Jamie and I considered getting one of these little vans. Look at how cute it is. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. Little slide out there, a little bunk up. Oh my gosh, this is like literally perfect. Perfect size. <laughs> but, oh look how cute it is. I don't know if these, could tow the Jeep, but I would have to look. So cute. So this model here, I don't know if it's gonna be the same inside. This is the 26M. This is what Jamie and I were actually looking at before we picked the model we have. Very similar to ours, has a U-shaped dinette here, but it has a Murphy bed in the back. So like the bed can just fold up there. So I felt like it just had so much space. Big bathroom down here. But look at this, so spacious on the inside. Maybe one day we'll upgrade to one of these. This is another one we had considered. This is a Greyhawk 27U. This is, of course is the 2023 model, but it's got like seating over here. Seating over here has a super cute kitchen. And then the bed is in the back. Back here, slides out that way. King size bed, we could actually all fit on that one. This is a really cute rig too. What do you think? Should we upgrade to one of these for hauling the dogs? Oh my gosh, I've never been in one of these. Oh, that's so many stairs. Look at how many stairs to get in this. It's so big. Whoa. This is like for millionaires, which isn't us. So if you still drive it, but holy cow, this is huge. Whoa, that's like my refrigerator at my house. This is massive. This is what people who tour like famous people. <laughs> this is really cool. I've never been in one of these. It was the heat of Nashville. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. I'm back outside, I can, now I gotta go find my car. Okay, so got inside, got registered, ridiculously hot. Ran into Aaron and Archer, which we have a little clip here of Archer. If you guys don't know who Aaron and Archer are, you can follow them on, they have an Instagram and a TikTok. I'll put some links down below. Super cool, super cool guy. I've known him for a while, followed him for a while. Um, finally got to meet in person, so that was, that was super fun. <laughs> Yeah, you guys are all about to be on his TikTok page, so. Also saw Sarah, don't have a clip of that, but saw Sarah Carson from the Super Collies. If you guys remember her, you'll probably see her in some upcoming videos as well. So now I am heading back to the campground to go check on Jamie and the dogs and be done for the night, because I gotta be back here at this big, huge, big, huge convention center and hotel thing tomorrow at 9 a.m. Open the door and take you guys outside real quick so you can hear the cicadas. They're crazy, aren't they, hon? They are. They're definitely loud. They're so loud. But uh, I don't think I'm gonna. You, I'm sure we'll be able to hear them tomorrow. I think we're calling it a night. Believe it or not, I did almost 17,000 steps today. I guess that's what going up and down steps in caves does to you. <laughs> and then getting lost at the giant hotel, which you didn't see. Jamie didn't see it, but the, the vlog will have seen it by now. Yeah. <laughs> 
I think we're going to go ahead and call it a night. So we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big. And we'll see you again soon. Don't worry. I'm turning the ACs back on. <laughs> Good night, audience.